You aren't supposed to do that. Now we wake up. Go, 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 go. Ah! Hey, why don't we start that one again? Fulbrook are a struggling 14s and under rugby team. Hey, hands ready. Communication. Coached by school PE teacher Steve Hernandez. A lot of you now are just using one hand, the power hand, and that's why the ball is going all over the place. The Braves have just completed their 15-a-side season, where they won just one game out of nine. We did. How can I put this graciously? Ah. We weren't as good as I thought we were going to be. They are about to embark on their first season of Summer Sevens, and expectations are not high. Three boys have never, ever played rugby before. Only two players had ever played Sevens before. Hey, it's not over yet! In six days' time, they are due to compete in their first ever Sevens tournament. That first tournament is going to be a huge eye-opener. They won't be going it alone. Jetting in to help them is rugby superstar and Scotland's former Sevens captain, Colin Gregor. Going a bit into the unknown, a week is not a lot of time, but hopefully having played at a high level, I can have a really positive impact on them. The Braves know a super coach is on their way, but they don't know who. Morning. I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Fallbrook, work with you guys, realise it's your first Sevens tournament of the weekend, so we'll have a, a real fun week, we'll work hard, we'll enjoy ourselves, let's get going. I've never had like an international coach or player from anywhere before, so it's really cool. Colin wants to make the most of every minute he has with the boys. I think it's important just to see what their basic catching and passing skills are like, how they realign off one another. Communication is obviously a big thing. Are they, are they asking for the ball? That's the motion and spin will come from just from that right hand. So kind of have your arms in that movement, just throw your arms to, to your partner. With the static drills in order, Colin wants to see some movement. Let's get noisy. Ready, ready, ready. Ball's out. Good ball. And again. Nice, Carlos. You've got, you've gone quiet again. As soon as the ball went down, everyone just went quiet. So let's just stay in the game, stay animated. Colin steps in to show how it's done. Keep following through. Keep two hands on the ball when we're passing. Going through the basics of the catch and pass. So once we've got on the move, that's where they, they maybe struggle a little bit more with the actual just yeah. process of passing. The whole point of sevens is to, to get the ball to space. You want to, there's less people on the pitch, there's more space, so the basics of catch and pass are, are hugely important so that you can, you can free up the quick guys, but also get the ball to space and, and make yards and score tries that way. As the space opens up, mistakes creep in. There's too many balls are hitting the deck because we're expecting these big passes. Let's just get a little bit tighter so that the accuracy of the passes goes up. Let's go think about where the space is. Let's talk to each other now. Good hands are again. Unlucky, just keep a bit of depth on the outside. Let's find the space there, good recognition. As an attack, they get very, very flat, so they put a lot of pressure on their skills to get the ball out. Defender, go. There we go, good work, get into space. The Braves show heart, but clearly have a lot to learn. A couple of areas that we think we can, we can improve. OK, the, the accuracy of the basics, catch and pass. Communication's a big one, I think. Happy with it? Yeah. Yeah. Right. What is... It was really good. I Most of the stuff we did was pretty new to me. I think he's a really great coach. I think he can, like, hopefully rub off some of his experience on us. Let's uh, grab the cones as well. There is a fair amount of work to be done with them. The, the, the basic skills, they, they can be OK with the catching and passing, but they, they lose focus quite quickly. They, they make some fairly basic errors. But can't fault their enthusiasm and, and their desire to learn and get better, so hopefully a, a promising week ahead. Go. Super coach Colin wants to make the Braves braver in their tackling. <laughs> Today we've got a slightly smaller group. We'll look at the tackling, get them involved in a little bit more contact. What do we know about tackling? What are key things that we look for when we're making a tackle? Lean with your shoulder. And then what we're looking to grab with arms. So we're wanting shoulder. And we've heard cheek to cheek, I think. 
so that's what we're looking face cheek to bum cheek. Go yeah, so it's, it's live now, so you're looking to score a try here. You're looking to stop him. This is now a game situation. Good work. So it's progressing day on day. What we need to think about is when we're tired or when we're caught up focusing on something else, that we're still able to talk to one another. Good work. I like to think I'm having an, an impact, or I certainly hope so anyway. It's just trying to give them a, a bit of a pointer in, in what I've done, how I've sort of been fairly successful, and let them learn from that. Two days before the Braves' first ever Sevens tournament, their super coach wants to inspire them. Let's hop on. Colin is taking the boys to the US Olympic Training Center, where the US rugby hopefuls are preparing for their first ever Olympic Games. It's great that the US Sevens team actually are based here, so we can have a look around, real chance to be inspired by what they see. Colin has arranged for the Braves to meet two members of the Team USA Olympic rugby squad, Shalom Saniula and Kelly Griffin. We just got back um, from France on Monday night. Obviously winning's fun, right, to be on that end of the stick, but like, it just takes one little mistake and it's about taking the chances. If you have belief in your own ability, you know whoever you're playing against, there's a chance that you can beat them. If you get things right on the day, anything can happen. Seeing these players here inspires me so much and that I might want to be like them someday. For them, I mean, rugby is just all about having fun, really. I mean, even for me, a lot of rugby is just about having fun. <laughs> Plenty of communication. Let's get jogging. Let's go. The tour guides are excused, and Colin gets down to training on the hallowed turf. Don't want anyone standing still. Five push-ups. Nelson, five push-ups. Go. Let's go then. Leg drive. Keep going. Wrap him up then. Keep going. Yeah, good leg drive. And present ball. Present ball. Today, Colin is focusing on defence. If he runs into that, you just say, "I've got ball. I've got ball. I've got ball." You make the tackle. We can really focus on improving the physical side of rugby. So I really want to give them a couple of pointers to make sure that they're really confident whenever they're faced with making a tackle. But with progress in one area, bad habits reappear. Wait, 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 wait. Everyone went silent. And that's the last thing we want. We want all of you talking rather than none of you. So let's just make sure that we're nice and noisy. Let's start looking to pass to space. We're just playing up the guts. Where's the space? Complete the tackle. Up we get, Devon. Good presentation. Let's think about the aim of the, aim of the attack is get the ball to space. The Braves start to come together as they find pass, their voices. Good running. Right, lads, good work. We'll call it there. Communication got better. As boys were getting into space, as the game freed up a little bit, guys are getting more vocal. We're very good in the little the little drills of getting shoulder contacts. And then when we get into a game, we get we get a little bit guilty of trying to grab. Braves on three. One, two, three. Braves! To be honest, to start with, the, things weren't all that great. The boys went a wee bit quiet again. It was a wee bit headless chicken stuff, but we, we worked on it. We got them talking a little bit more, and the, the quality then improved. And, and by the end, we were almost looking like a sevens team. Today is Scottish rugby legend Colin Gregor's final coaching session with the Braves before their first ever seven-a-side tournament. Just want to build confidence and we'll look again at our defensive shape. But for one player, training might be over before it has even begun. <laughs> that's just blood, coach. That, that's it, clean it out. I didn't even know I was bleeding until... So just a little, hopefully it's nothing too bad there. All right, put that back up on there. Right there. You got a headache at all? No. Yeah. If you have a headache, then we have to deal with that. Just let me know if it's too tight. Mm -hmm. Croy's teammates have just one thing on their minds. We will play tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. Checked that he didn't have a headache, didn't feel in any way unwell, so we'll just monitor him a little bit more closely than we than we maybe would normally. He's obviously a, an important player. Croy recently moved in to live with his dad, a US Marine. Please go in. Oh, come on! <laughs> Before that, he had not seen much of his father. Oh, I can't hit the... Look at that, boom! <laughs> We're still figuring each other out, because 
you know, he just moved here in October and uh, even though we're almost literally the same person, I think our relationship will get tighter over time because I've been gone for so long. Yeah, you're done, son. It was like every other year. I get to see him for like three weeks or a month. It's a lot harder now to like kind of interact. It's difficult. Oh! <laughs> but with Dad now stationed nearby, they can make up for lost time. Out of nowhere, he just started playing rugby like, okay, well, I guess he knows what he's doing, and he was really good at it too. For sevens, my position is wing. So what I'm responsible for is as soon as that ball gets snapped out, and it's going to get to me, and then I have to take it as fast as possible to the tried zone. Way to cut that angle, Croy. Right, lads, in we come. In an effort to refocus, Colin is firm with the boys. Obviously, it's important that we have a, a real high quality session. If the quality is poor, then we're just going to keep going and going. So it's up to you guys to make sure you're switched on. Good quality session. Good and go, go, go. Yeah, good. Croy is determined to prove he is fit to play in tomorrow's tournament. Go, 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 go. go. Let's get real urgency. We'll just do it for 30 second blast or so. There we go. Great work. However, Christian after battling in. through the opening drills, he is unable to continue. Is he okay? He said he's feeling a little lightheaded. Right. That's fine, yeah. I've been waiting all week to play the game, but my head hurts. Good work into that's space. It, that's it, that's it. Excellent work. Yep, get support that's with it. him. Good running, Elias. Really good. Colin brings final practice to a close. Right, let's come in. Yes, Wallace. He hands out new jerseys for the tournament. Proper Scottish name, mate. Eh? Good man. <laughs> Bellamy and makes Croy captain, even though he might not be fit to play. Just over the week, we've been looking a bit about leadership and just how you work as a team, the dynamics, and basically we'll, we'll go for a kind of a leadership team. I think we'll have, have Croy as captain. We want uh, Devin, you to be vice captain as well. Raise on three. One, two, three, raise! It feels really good to have a rugby jersey. It just makes me feel part of the team. You feel like we're going to win now. <laughs>I think I'm ready. I'm already leading my team one way or another. The Braves start their first ever sevens tournament in style. Go on, Croy! And with tries from Captain Croy and Prop McKyle, they beat their local rivals, the San Clemente Gators, 22-7. Great work, lads. Next up are the South Irvine Rhinos. Let's get our defence then! Despite a strong defence from the Braves, the physically superior opposition proved too much for them, and they lose the match 14-0. Now, with light fading, everything rests on their final match. Go Braves! They face their toughest challenge of the day in the Coastal Dragons. Come on, Braves, let's work! Go, Braves! The Braves take the lead less than a minute into the game. Excellent start, yeah. Just good scrum and then Croy just showing how dangerous a runner he is, running, bursting straight through. Just what we needed, brilliant. And fly half Devon regains his form to make the conversion, putting them seven points up. Helped a teammate score a try and then he made his conversion kick and that was awesome. They soon have more to cheer. as Nelson extends the lead to 14 points. Good work. Refusing to give up, the Dragons overturn possession at a scrum and crash through to get on the board. At half-time, Fulbrook's lead is reduced to seven points. 
With victory by no means a done deal, Colin rallies his troops. Let's start screaming for it so that we get the ball to the win. Last seven minutes of the day, of the weekend, so let's really enjoy it. Yep. yep. The Dragons continue to pile on the pressure. Nice tackle. Back in tackle, Nelson. We need to dig deep now, play with that confidence that, that they've displayed in the first game. But Fulbrook remain calm and start to work the space with their passes. Into the safe hands of their captain, who does the rest. Devin adds the conversion, putting more points on the board to give them an unassailable lead. The Braves seal the all-important second win of the day and finish in the top half of the table, a triumph for the team who last season won only one match. Cracking effort, really good. Great, great way to end the week. You guys are great. Awesome. I freaking love every single one of you, yeah. including you, Christian. <laughs> All right, man. I'm just freaking happy right now. Rugby is just... It's rugby. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of contact, and it doesn't stop, that's for sure. Yeah, it's been an awesome week. It was, it was really fun. <coughs> the coach uh, Gregor being Bridge, here and everything, it, it was just an awesome experience. You're proud of that today. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm proud of I don't even want to start crying. So. <laughs> really good. Certainly a lot better than I thought it would be when I first arrived on Monday so to win two out of the three games. They showed tremendous character and just their, their belief in one another to, to stick to, to what they could do and they, they scored the tries and, and got the win because of that. <laughs> Coach, call on three. One, two, three, call on three.